Are you considering moving to Greensboro, North Carolina? Before you make that move, I'm going to give you some reasons you may want to rethink your decision. Do I have your attention? If so, you stay tuned. I got you covered. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Living in Greensboro, North Carolina with Lynette Selby. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the cons of living in my hometown. So let's get started. Okay, first I wanna start by apologizing if I sound like a negative Nelly, but before you move to this city, I wanna let you know all the things that you're up against. So first on the list is the notorious humidity. So humidity mixed with heat can make the temperatures feel like it's at least 10 degrees hotter than what it really is. But worry not, there's a plus to all the humidity. An advantage of the humidity is its impact on your skin. Unlike dry climates where your skin can become kind of dry and cracked, the moisture in the air helps keep your skin hydrated and this can be a welcome relief for those who suffer from dry skin conditions or prefer a more youthful appearance. <laughs> now let's talk about the four seasons in Greensboro. You will experience all four seasons, each with its own personality and, and little quirks. So winters in Greensboro is generally mild, but you can still um, see those chilly days. So in January, you might find yourself, you know, reaching for, for a heavier coat and temperatures can, the high temperature can be about 20, 30 degrees, but don't be fooled by those frosty mornings because just when you think winter is here to stay, fake spring will arrive usually in the middle of February. So picture this, a sudden burst of sunshine and temperatures soaring to a delightful 60, 65 degrees in February. As if nature is kind of teasing us with a sneak peek of what the warmer um, days would be like. But soon as fake spring comes, it's gone. It only lasts for a couple of days. So suddenly we find ourselves transitioning back to winter. And when spring finally comes, it's, you know, and it announces its official arrival with the blooming flowers and the refreshing breeze, but it does bring along those, you know, the higher temperatures and the humidity. So all of that is something to kind of keep in mind with the, um, with the weather here in Greensboro. So next, let's talk about the pollen and the bugs. So Greensboro is known for beautiful trees and flowers. They create a stunning landscape, but they come with a heavy pollen count. So if you have allergies, don't worry. There are some remedies like Claritin and Zyrtec, and those can help with the sniffly noses and, and all that nasty allergy stuff. Now let's talk about the bugs in Greensboro. So mosquitoes, the not so beloved summertime guests, they're everywhere, particularly in backyards. So you might find yourself, you know, out in your backyard, sipping on a cocktail, on your porch only to have these little tiny bugs whiz past your ear and start kind of biting you everywhere but they're relatively harmless they won't hurt you but their presence can be a bit of bit of a nuisance and kind of annoying especially during the warmer months but don't let them deter you from enjoying great outdoor activities and there are some ways to deal with them such as using insect repellent or ensuring that your outdoor spaces have proper screens to kind of keep them away. Now, let's talk about another interesting character and that's the June bug. So this beetle commonly seen during the late spring and early summer months is a common sight in Greensboro. They are known for their loud buzzing sounds and you might spot them flying into windows or bumping into porch lights or even bumping into you. While they may seem a bit clumsy, they're relatively harmless to humans. The good news is that both mosquitoes and June bugs play an essential role in the ecosystem. Mosquitoes, despite their annoyance, serve as a vital um, food source for various bats, birds, and other insects. 
and the June bugs, they contribute to the natural process of decomposition, helping to break down the plant matter and enrich the soil. So they have a purpose. So since we're talking about insects and bugs and wildlife, we gotta talk about snakes. We gotta do it. So venomous snakes are present in Greensboro. The most common being the copperhead. They scare me. All snakes scare me really, but the copperhead really scares me. These snakes have a distinct marking and tri a triangular head. However, the chance of encountering one are somewhat low, but sightings do happen in the area. And we also have harmless snakes like black snakes, brown snakes, and they too play a vital role in our ecosystem. Traffic is another common issue in Greensboro. Due to the city's rapid growth, you know, it is worth mentioning that Greensboro ranks number 11 on the worst drivers list on QuoteWizard.com. But in my personal opinion, I think the majority of the drivers are okay. You will have the occasional slow driver that's trying to drive in the fast lane on the interstate or, you know, those fast drivers that are going way too fast, way over the speed limit, zip right by you. But, you know, it's okay. But overall, I feel like the drivers here are okay in Greensboro. So I know this video was focusing on a lot of negative things in the city, but I just wanna to touch on a few positive areas. And one is the friendly people. So in Greensboro, the warm and welcoming people create like a refreshing and positive atmosphere. So whether you're new or if you've been here for a while, you'll find people people very eager to, to engage in conversations or just to kind of help you out if you need it. And that that's really special. So I really do like that about Greensboro. Now, calling all foodies. Greensboro offers a abundance of food options catering to all tastes and preferences. So whether you're into exotic cuisines or classic favorites, this city truly has something for everybody. While Greensboro may have its challenges like any other city, there's really not a lot, a lot to dislike about this city. Each negative aspect has its own kind of workaround, making it a great place to call home. So before you make your decision, consider the complete picture, weigh the pros, and the cons and find that Greensboro does have a lot to offer but I want to thank you for watching and until next week I'll see you later you guys take care bye bye